Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Plugage, and today I'm going to be doing kind of like a setup tour slash room tour, despite my setup being in my living room. I'm not going to show you the full apartment just because it's not fully furnished yet. We moved right before the whole beer bug thing, so you know, we haven't been able to get furniture yet. But after that, I will give you guys a full tour, but for now, let's um, get into it. Alright, so when you first walk in, you got Boots to greet you. Boots, say hi. Hey. Boots. Alright, Boots is having it today, whatever, he's been a butthead. You got an empty corner, I had a plant there if you remember when I first started recording, but my cat killed it, so that's cool. Thanks, Stewie. Then you just got here, you know, good old fireplace with, uh, I think I got this TV. In 2016, it's a 65 inch Sony TV, it's nothing crazy. But moving on to the thing that you guys probably only care about, is my wiring nightmare going on down there. Let's not talk about it, let's just act like you don't see that. Then moving on to the actual PC, it is a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti with 32 gigs of RAM. I want to say it's 3600 megahertz. I could be wrong. It could be 3200, but I'm pretty sure it's 3600. It's G-Skill, DDR4. You, you guys already know the drill. Powered by an i7-8700K CPU. I do want to upgrade that to a Ryzen here soon. We'll see. We'll see if I end up doing it. I might be all talk, but I really want to. And then I have my Elgato capture card. I believe that's a HD 60 or something like that, 60S, something like that. But that's basically what I use to power my camera or get my video from my camera as a webcam. Then moving on to my monitors. This is a 27 inch NVIDIA G-Sync monitor, 144 Hertz. It's a TN panel, which is standard for gaming monitors. Nothing crazy, but Highly recommend it. If you're looking for a game monitor, I would definitely get this. I'll drop all the links in the bo bottom below. I don't know why I almost said chat below. I'm an idiot. And then moving on to the second monitor. This is probably my favorite monitor I've ever had. It's only 60 hertz. It's an IPS panel. This is where I do all my, uh, I guess you could say, productive work in my video editing. And goddamn, dude, look at the image quality difference. Same image. This is a gaming monitor. This is a professional monitor. I'm not monitor shaming. I'm just saying you can easily tell the difference and it is beautiful. But yeah, besides that, there's nothing else about these monitors. Then moving on to my um, mix amp. This is not necessary, just like my voice cracks. I got it like two years ago when I was streaming on Twitch. Don't get one of these unless you absolutely need to. There's plenty of virtual software you can get now. I got this just to act like I knew what I was doing and turns out I don't know what I'm doing. And then I have these lights. These lights are a lifesaver, dude. I don't care if you have a shitty webcam. If you have good lighting, it makes a hell of a difference. These are so powerful, too. I got both of these that came in a bundle for like 50 bucks. And it's all you'll ever need. If you're only streaming and doing YouTube, this is all you'll ever need. You might be able to even get away with it making short little indie films as well. To be completely honest, they're that good. And then I have my XLR mic. It's an AT2035. Wouldn't recommend anything else. I would definitely go and spend the extra 20 or 30 bucks to make this an XLR versus a USB. It's 20 times better than USB. I don't care what you guys say. I'm sorry, not sorry. Just go XLR if you have the extra money. And then moving on is uh, the strip club light. I will give you guys a demonstration of that real quick. It's not quite dark out yet, but this should be dark enough. I'm just gonna hit on and look at that dude we got strip club lighting up in here actually let's make this a static color please stop okay as you can see it lights up the room pretty nicely it gives a great background background light it serves as a great background light if you watched uh, some of my youtube videos or my streams when it's at night you can notice how much nicer my stream looks at night just because this thing's on and it lights up the whole place and it just looks so nice in the background it's only like 40 bucks on Amazon. If you have the extra dough, I would definitely recommend getting one because it makes a hell of a difference. I absolutely love this thing. Here, okay, then over here, my handy dandy bookshelf. We got, honestly, nothing, nothing too crazy. We have my VR headset, some textbooks, my Macs, some books, and you already know we stan our man Elon. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I know. And then a globe and a nice big Sony paperweight because um, <clears throat> consoles are trash. I don't know who said that. I don't know who said that. Then moving on to the last part, 
nothing crazy just your standard kitchen then pantry i would show you in there but it's literally just a washer and dryer and some freaking snacks so who cares about that so yeah fridge oven microwave if you live on your own or you just can't cook dude get yourself an air fryer man this thing can make some mean glizzies boys let me tell you let me tell you and then a bucket i'd recommend getting a bucket too because um every kitchen needs a bucket on the counter am i right am i right yeah and then to end this off i know this is a this is probably n way more lame than you expected it to be but uh my chair it's um it's been um destroyed i'm not sure if that's from my ass or from my cat uh, I, i'll let you guys take a guess what that's from guess in the comments below but yeah that's gonna actually wrap this up um i know this was probably not nearly as exciting as you thought it'd be honestly i thought it'd be a lot cooler too but after recording this i'm kind of just like wow this was kind of cringe but yeah besides that that's my setup if you have any questions or want any help with anything when it comes to setting something up stream or youtube related feel free to ask me in the comments below i'm always there to help join the discord too i'm oh i'm constantly responding to the messages in there and it's, it's fun it's fun the discord's fun just join the discord all right that's a blast but yeah besides that um leave a like if you like leave a dislike if you dislike and i am out ciao